Uncertainty can be a crazy terrifying thing. We as human beings want so badly to know how tomorrow will unfold, how circumstances will play out, how people around us will respond to us. Most of us have heard that half of the marriage is in divorce. For startup success, why do so many fail? And yet, by our very nature as finite human beings, we cannot know with certainty what tomorrow holds. And therefore, if we don't know how to properly manage uncertainty, it is almost <laughs> certain to drive us insane. As someone who grew up as an older sibling and was constantly being praised for being smart and capable, I began to find my identity in my accomplishments. Growing up in this way taught me that I needed to control things. Oh! And now that's an okay mindset to have for certain things like say homework, where you can redo and recheck and redo and recheck, but it's a really bad way of approaching things like life. Because life is messy, it's, it's not something you can just take as much time as you need to get the right answers and move on. Life is always changing, it's uncertain, and again, if you can't manage that correctly, you're gonna end up in a very, very dark place. And so in Eastern philosophy, there's this idea that pops up again and again, and it's this idea that our trying to control things is the fundamental root cause of all of our unhappiness in life. And the more life that I live, the more I think about this, the more I realize that to be so true. And now whether or not your situation is exactly the same or slightly different, I think we all have these deeper pieces of us that are tied to results and outcomes. And that's the reason why uncertainty hits us at such a deep level. We think we need life to play out a certain way for us to be okay. And so in whatever way uncertainty is holding your life hostage right now, I wanted to share one concept that has really made all the difference for me. And it's this concept, which in Chinese is called Wu Wei, or Wu Wei, which is roughly translated to effortless action, or without trying, or as the kids used to say, don't be a tryhard. You can see this philosophy play out in kung fu movies, in jujitsu, surfing, parkour, or even in music. It's this idea that we can flow with our circumstances rather than against them. I think Bruce Lee said it the best when he said, the water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. The best way I like to think about Wu Wei is through this mental image that I thought was from the movie Big Hero 6, but is actually, I think, a smashing together of a bunch of superhero movies. But basically it's this. Imagine yourself the hero standing at the top of a bridge or a cliff, you close your eyes and you do this trust fall and literally dive into the action below. And as you're falling, you're picking up momentum. Every second that goes by, you're going faster and faster. And along the way, these objects start to whiz past you. These giant boulders and semi-trucks and things that get in your way. And these represent these thoughts that come into our heads, these anxieties and these worries about the future. And you have two options. You can either dissipate all your momentum, smashing into every single one that goes by, trying to control and juggle the stuff we can't change. Or what you can do is just gracefully dodge each of them, to go around them, to somersault over them, and save all of that precious energy and effort and attention for the things that matter the most down below. And speaking of Big Hero 6, it's actually one of my all-time favorite movies. And I, pro I promise this is related. I relate to Tadashi so much in this movie because for one, he's also an older brother. I guess I'm also a tall Asian dude, so we kind of look alike. And I also just love to build stuff. And I see this channel that I'm building here with you all as sort of my Baymax, as cheesy as it sounds. This is what I've been working on. Hello, I am Baymax. He's gonna help a lot of people. I really want this to take on a life of its own and be my way of caring for and giving a hug to more people than I possibly can as a limited human being. And so bringing it back to Wu Wei, um, this is one of the few things that I really, really care about. It means a lot to me. And so I've actually got, uh, I wanna introduce you to this little guy. I want to introduce you to this little guy. This is Baymax. He's a little 
bobbly head. What's up, buddy? <laughs> and so this is why I actually have Baymax here with me, to remind me of why I do what I do. Because I am definitely far from perfect. I struggle a lot on the way. I often get so down and discouraged comparing myself to all my other friends' businesses and channels that are doing really well. And here I am going at however fast I'm going, constantly thinking, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Is this gonna work? I'm so afraid of it not working and all this stuff. Uncertainty tricks me into worrying about what I can't control, therefore distracting me from the things I can. But then when I look at Baymax, he's a reminder of what I should be saving my momentum for, for doing my best to care for people and give people a hug when life gets them down, because I believe that's all of us. Because life sucks sometimes, no one should go through it alone, and if my channel can kind of be there for some of you in that way, then um, that is so meaningful to me. Wu Wei teaches us that we don't have time and energy to do everything. So putting our time into worrying about uncertainty can often be counterproductive. On the other hand, we can learn to dance with our circumstances, saving our momentum for when it will count the most. So ask yourself, what is worth your attention? What is worrying versus actual productive thought? Realize that it's not your responsibility to catch and carry the weight of every anxious thought that comes barreling towards you. Realize that you have the option to just step aside and let it pass. Leave your energy for those things that really, really matter to you and smash into them with every ounce of you that you have. It's definitely a skill to master, one that I'm still on the journey of as well. But little by little, as we learn, as we grow, we can begin to be a little bit more comfortable with uncertainty. Water can flow or it can crash. Be like water, my friends. If you're new to this channel, welcome, my name is Kevin. This channel is about connection, both with other people and with ourselves, because loneliness and emptiness is a massive problem that I think we need to be taking a lot more seriously. And so, if that resonates with you at all, click this, I just hit the mic, click this video if you're at all curious what I'm talking about, I'll explain it in a little bit more detail. And a few other super quick things that I wanna mention. Number one, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Also sign up for the email list somewhere. I'm again still juggling everything and I haven't actually sent out emails yet, but hopefully, hopefully that happens soon. Sign up for the email list so you'll be notified when I announce stuff in the future. And lastly, I rarely ever mention my Patreon because I'm Oh my God, I'm sorry, the microphone died. I'm in the edit right now, this is behind the scenes, welcome. As you can see by my editor facial hair growing right now. So yeah, I feel pretty uncomfortable asking for help. But uh, to make a super long story short, basically I quit my job almost two years ago to try to build this channel into what has become this movement to try to help those of us who feel lonely because I think it's one of the biggest problems that we're contending with now in the modern world and touches so many of us in so many deep ways that most of us don't really let on to publicly. And so it's, it's been a struggle. Every video takes like 50 to 80 hours just to put out there. Um, I'm trying to get the process faster, but I wanted to throw out, if you feel like supporting me, it would mean the world to me if you could um, even just consider um, being a patron. That really would help me be able to continue making these videos. And so anyways, thank you so much for even just considering this. Again, no pressure whatsoever. My videos are gonna be here for you no matter what. Um, and so, yeah, till next video, much love my friends. I wish, wish, wish I could give you hugs over the internet, but I guess uh, a camera hug will, will have to do. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. Anyways, I love you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.